everybody welcome to stump town bands as you can see it's raining which in portland means race season is over it's winter now and i figured it'd be a good time to start doing some video content because uh, i've got a lot of plans in store for this car thought i'd start out by introducing myself and what you can expect from this channel uh, my name's Joe. Uh, you might already know me from MB World or from the Facebook forums as Joe J. Ernst. I've got a couple different AMGs. I've got a 2004 E55 that is my daily driver. Uh, I've retired it from racing though because I didn't want to cut it up and put a roll bar in it and it's already going quicker than 11.5 so I decided to uh, get myself a full-on race car. That's what this is. Uh, this is a 2002 CLK 55 Right now it's completely stock. It's got 220,000 miles on it. I paid $850 for this car. Um, the story behind that is kind of interesting. Last year I was looking for a 208 chassis because I knew that's what I wanted to turn into a race car. And so I was sort of surfing the internet and I came across this car in LA on, I think it was on cargurus.com. And I reached out to the owner. She had it listed for, I think, $1,650. And um, I reached out to her and never heard anything. And I kept checking back. And I thought the car was sold. I thought it'd be gone any day. But I kept looking and looking. And like a month went by. And I said, all right, well, I'll try again. I reached out to her one more time. And she finally got back to me this time. And she said, oh, yeah, that car's going to the junkyard tomorrow. But if you want it, you can have it for 850 bucks." And so I said, sold, I'll take it. Um, I'm in Portland, you're in LA, I'll send a truck to pick it up ASAP. And the, the deal was, um, where she lives, she had to park on the street and the battery died in the car. She couldn't get it started. And the trunk wouldn't open. Because uh, when the battery dies, you can't use the remote. And the blade key wasn't working either. It was, a, the lock was all stuck. So she was getting parking tickets every week because when the street sweepers come by, if you don't move your car, I guess you get a parking ticket down there. And then the registration expired. And so it was gonna cost her a lot of money just to get it running and get it re-registered. So she just wanted to get rid of it. She was gonna send it to the junkyard. So I called the Mercedes dealership down in LA and I said, hey, I've got um, a car I need you to pick up. It won't start. Pick it up, tow it to your dealership and see what's wrong with it. So I paid her for the car and I had the dealership pick it up and they basically gave me a free pre-purchase inspection even though I had just purchased it um, I told me everything that was wrong with it and I said uh, never mind I'll just send a truck to come pick it up so I hired one of those interstate movers to you know pick it up and haul it up here to Portland and that cost 750 bucks so even with the moving it only cost me about 1500 bucks to get the car in my garage so uh, it was kind of in rough shape. It, it needed um, front lower control arm bushings. They were gone. Uh, the motor mounts were completely shot. Um, the trunk wouldn't open, but I fixed that with a can of WD-40 in about two minutes of labor. Uh, and then I put a new battery in it and, uh, and a new rear main seal. And I've been driving it ever since. So. Even with the 220,000 miles on it, it runs great. Doesn't smoke. There's no mechanical problems with this car. The engine, the transmission, the rear end, they're all good. My plan is to make this car faster in phases. And the first phase was this summer was just baseline testing. I got a mid 13 second quarter mile out of it while it's completely stock at full factory weight. Um, and the next phase is going to be to do some weight reduction. So I'd like to pull between three and 400 pounds out of the car. We'll see how aggressive I get with it. I'm not quite sure yet, but, um, three or 400 pounds in weight reduction. And then the next phase after that will be, uh, to go full standalone ECU and a standalone TCU. I've already got a built rear subframe with 373 gears in it and high strength axles and a quaif limited slip so that's going to go in after the tcu gets installed so i can switch the gear ratio and then um, then we'll get crazy we'll put a turbo on it uh, we'll do a fully built bottom end and see if we can 
set the CLK 55 record and take it from black bands, um, I'd like to run an 899 in this car eventually. Uh, I know that's a that's a big that's a big reach, but we'll see. We'll see. I think it's possible. It might take a couple years to get there, but that's what this that's the whole purpose of this car. This that's this car's purpose in life is to run an 899 in the quarter. So that's all for now. I'll see you in a couple weeks when I get the next video up. I'll be documenting the weight reduction process. Uh, until then. I need a catchphrase. Anyway, see you later.